Hey there, you two. Each and every one of you. Uh, figured I'd give a little update on the last month and a half. As you have noticed, I'm not terribly dedicated to making videos and content. I see some of you are, and I think, wow. Good on you. Good. I mean, you're providing people with entertainment far better than I am. Good for you. But uh, just a little bit of what happened here in the last little bit. I haven't had a pipe since November 13 or 14. Yeah, and there's a story behind that. I was uh, headed toward Broken Arrow, going down 35 between Des Moines and Kansas City, and I was having a rather enjoyable pipe. And then about halfway through, I got a weird burning in my chest that kind of just, I put the pipe down and let it go out, and then the next time I stopped, I packed up all my paraphernalia and set it on the far side of the truck and uh, kept going because that's what you do. And the next morning I woke up and uh, I forget if it was the 14th, whatever it was, November, it was a Monday and um, I had my heart rate was like 30 beats faster than normal. My breath rate was almost double. Had the shakes. Uh, this is not good. But, you know, as, as it is in humans, generally we find the strength to do what needs to be done. So that's what you do. I fueled up, made my drop, picked up my stuff, and then I headed north. And I got home Tuesday afternoon. And uh, I was wiped out. Got home and basically I slept for like three days. That's all I did. And then uh, that must have been Sunday afternoon. I was feeling bad enough to where I thought, you know, I should probably go in and get checked out. And so we went in and uh, I tested positive for that nasty little virus. But they basically said, go home and get better. Okay, fine. On the day after Thanksgiving, I was definitely not better. So I went back in and then I got admitted and I spent 12 days in hospital. You know, and there were two or three days that were quite a bit less than pleasant because I, when I got there, I just went downhill for those three days and I hit the bottom, which wasn't as low as a lot of people get. And I just, I was on 15 liters of oxygen but then I started to recover. So now I'm, they sent me home without oxygen because that's something my insurance wouldn't cover, home oxygen, whatever, I'm alive. And uh, so today I go in for my, to follow up appointment to make sure my progress is still good. There weren't no fun, but it wasn't a death sentence either. I mean, I didn't get the mandated treatments simply because I'm just looking at it going, look, there's a 99% chance I'd survive anyway, so I'll take my chances with the bug. And now I know the doctor's going to say, are you going to get your shot once you're done? And I got two, two months and three weeks before I can even make a solid decision. But I'm going to do a lot of research between now and then. I think natural immunity is pretty good. But we'll see.
anyway, that's just a little update. I haven't really had an urge to light anything up. But then, when you're short on oxygen, <laughs> that kind of keeps you from wanting to do that. So, uh, anyway, just a quick update so you all know. You all know you... What do you all know? Ain't dead yet. Take care.